Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Heim. I'm a herpetologist and geneticist at the University of Kansas Biodiversity Institute and Natural History Museum. And today I'm going to share with you a few adaptations of one of my favorite North American salamanders, the hellbender salamander. Hellbender salamanders are large aquatic amphibians that live in rivers and streams throughout Eastern North America. These salamanders are endangered and many zoos, including the St. Louis Zoo, are working to breed them in captivity with the hopes of establishing new populations and reintroducing them to areas where they have been extirpated. Now, some of the unique adaptations that I'm going to mention today allow hellbenders to better live in their environment. As I mentioned, hellbender salamanders live in Eastern North America, and there are two subspecies of hellbenders, the Eastern hellbender, which lives in rivers that are colored blue in this map, and also the Ozark hellbender, which lives in the Southern Ozark Mountains, and those rivers are colored red in this map. Now, one of the first adaptations that I'm going to mention, which you can see looking at this picture of a hellbender, is that they have cryptic coloration. The coloration of their skin allows them to blend in with the rocks and substrate of the rivers in which they live. This camouflage allows them to avoid predators. Another of the adaptations that I'm going to mention are the skin folds on the side of the hellbender. Hellbenders have gills, although they do most of their oxygen exchange across their skin. And having these big dorsolateral skin folds allows them to have a greater skin surface area, which helps them to better exchange gases with their environment. Hellbenders often live in murky water and it's difficult for them to see. And another adaptation that hellbenders have are these baroreceptors or pressure receptors on the head. And you can see them indicated here as those little bumps along the side of the jaw. Now hellbender salamanders, as you can see here, that first adaptation, the camouflage, when hellbenders are sitting on the gravel substrate of a river, they can be very difficult to detect. Likewise, much of their prey, crayfish and small fish, may also be cryptic. And those pressure receptors on the head allow them to seek out this prey and find it without using visual cues. And on this one, you can also see those dorsolateral skin folds that allow them to better exchange gas with the water in which they live. Now, the last bit of this little presentation, I'd like to show you a video of a wild hellbender, and this was um, this video was gathered under proper scientific collection permits, but this video will let you see how hellbenders move in their environment and let you see some of these cool adaptations in action. Well, I hope you've learned something about adaptations of hellbenders. Thank you.